newzealandmusician.co.nz Kia ora and welcome to grilled number four or 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 four. Yes, that's it. That's four. Um, <laughs> his name is Andrew of um, Die exclamation mark Die exclamation mark Die exclamation mark also known as Die Die Die. My name is Inda. Grilled is where musicians fire first. So, Andrew. Hi. Harimai, please fire first. Um, I, so why do you not drink coffee? <laughs> I do drink coffee, but I drink coffee once or twice a year. Okay. And it's an espresso, not coffee with anything else in it. Usually I'm an espresso drinker. Yes, too, not, not fiddling with it, with okay. any milk or anything. Sure, A sure. bit aggressive about that. Indeed, you know? Just yeah. <laughs> cool. Good. I think it's a good way of drinking coffee, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> That's settled. Yeah. Brilliant. Apart from that, I'm a tea drinker. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, I completely forgot that this is the whole idea of the interview. So, there you go. I'm going to be thinking on the spot. So, um, I've asked a lot about the building. This is a beautiful building, by the way. It's very, very nice. Um, so, how long am No, one, what, one question yeah, is go. fine. One this question is fine? Is great. Fine. Right, sure. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, do I have to do this the whole time? No, no, you've done your bit. Oh, you've brilliant. done your bit. This is great. Okay, cool. This is great. Phew. <sighs> um, I can relax now. Thinking, oh, yes, no. you can. How do I incorporate questions about myself to ask you? Yeah, so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Typical musician, you know. Oh, well. Many, you know, many people, so this is the serious bit now, many people, um, when they listen to punk rock or you know indie rock, and, you know, tend to focus on on the energy and yeah. on the um, the impulse of it. I mean, the sort of quote unquote the noise of it. Yeah. Uh, without realizing the the amount of actual songwriting mm. that goes into it. And what's striking about Die 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 is how much songwriting there is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it? How do you proceed? How do you go about writing um, songs? I mean, you know, mm -hmm. proper songs, whilst retaining the burst of, of energy, the kapow. The kapow. Um, I think it's kind of it's it's quite an organic process. Like a, uh, we're we kind of well nowadays. Well, we you do the we do the musical part, obviously, um, and then that's a vibe, and then we kind of try and mold it into a song as such and spend a lot of time sort of laboriously kind of um, thinking about how we can write um, you know melodies or something but so not so they're ob overly obtuse but like so mm. they're kind of hidden in the mm. in the shambles you know mm. yeah mm. and um, so again talking about songwriting and, and direction in a yeah. way before an album do mm -hmm. you have a sense of direction? You know, for example, oh, uh, this is going to be our purple rain, or this is going to be our <laughs> remain in light. Or um, I think you know. that like we we have done things like that before. Um, we have kind of gone in with the idea of an aesthetic, and then it's failed miserably. Um, so I've kind of not gone into it. Like with this this new album, mm -hmm. we were, was probably the least prepared we've ever had, or least um, the least aesthetic we had, like because we kind of it sort of happened by accident that this was going to be an album you know mm. there was no period of writing songs mm. you know mm. or anything like that it was all kind of off the cuff for really. mm. yeah and but you know sometimes even though you you turn up in the studio and you you play yeah and you sort of find a smart description later yeah um you have source of sources of inspiration mm -hmm. and and sort of vision Yes, yeah. is a very fashionable word. Um, an idea, a sort of concept. Yeah. Um, so it's you've given that up altogether. No, no, I don't want to say that as such. I just think that this album, we gave it up. Yes. Yeah. This album was definitely like a, like a, yeah. There was no. I mean, we did. It kind of we realized. Oh wow, we've kind of got enough. We've been doing enough stuff mm. to actually have an album, and, and it does sound like there is a, a common thread between the, mm. the music and um, I don't know I think it's I think it's really I think it's quite a creative record oh it's, yeah no, I think it's good um, I think it's a lot it's a lot more freer sounding it's a bit more looser and relaxed and 
I think that's it. Yeah, it suits it. I think. So I think it's actually been a good. It's been a nice change. But every time you do an album, you think you've changed. But maybe ask me in a couple of years, and I have a completely different opinion. But, but for instance, for form for yeah. the album form. Um, mm -hmm. Was it is it is it me or was it a conscious decision that it would be slightly more pop? I mean, it's not pop because it's not. Pop no, I know, pop, I know but, what you mean. I think but, like with form, looking back on it, like we had done promises, promises, um, and also we'd done our first album, mm -hmm. and it was our third record, and we really wanted to change the our sound as such, and mm -hmm. then also, um, I mean, the glory of like beauty of hindsight, right? So we wanted to kind of make ourselves sound a lot th like thicker and um, mm. more layers and create more textures and we kind of just wanted to seem a little bit more. I mean, it was. Di I mean, in a lot of ways, we almost lost a lot of dynamics mm. by having form because there's so many mm. layers. But we wanted to be a bit more dynamic and a bit more, you know, have more things. Yeah. <laughs> going no, on. No, but that's very interesting yeah. because listening to form. Yeah. Um, there's it, it, yes, there is that. There is a sort of a loss, which is not uh, tragic or mm. sad, which, yeah. is, which is an int creatively interesting. But there's a loss of of die 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 the EP or the yeah, first exactly. album and promises yeah. promises and, and of of precisely the punk energy of yeah. it. And and which sort of rounded off the edges yes, quite a bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, yeah, do do you like it? Do you like do you like the album? I do. I really like that album. Mm. I think it's a really good album. I mean, I my I mean my favorite album. Is, I mean, it's probably Harmony, which is the one after that. Mm. I think that that's a, a kind of a nice middle ground between the earlier stuff and form. Well, there's 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 a reconciliation on Harmony. I mean, yeah, without yeah. without sounding too because yeah. it's called Harmony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's I it's quite like it too. Just, yeah, no, and it's not really as it's definitely not as well known either. So it's kind of like it's quite I don't know. I kind of like records like that too. Um, but I yeah, I do like form. I think it was a great. Um, I mean, it wasn't a great period of my life. It was actually terrible. But it was um, it was a nice a creative period. And it was a really, I think we were in a really good band at that point, mm. definitely. Yeah. And then I like I look back, I think back on those days, and you know the so-called sort of struggles which I had was living with at the time was actually my only really responsibility was kind of waking up and going to record in the studio. It's, it's quite a seems like a, a different lifetime now, you know. Yeah, but at the time that was yeah exactly a big thing. yeah totally yes. yes. And um, how many? Oh yeah, uh, where was it recorded? Because I thought it was recorded in France. How many was? Recorded? Well, how many was recorded in France? Yeah. Where about? And uh, just in a recording studio called Black Box, um, which is just outside Angers. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh well. Yeah. So we're going back to playing there on this next tour next month. Oh no, next month. When, when, where are we? Two months time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's going to be quite exciting because one of my favorite bands. Uh, time called the thugs is, is from there mm. so I'm very happy and that we're like when we played in Angers just before we recorded Harmony the the guy knew that we were a big fan so he gave me like a vintage tour poster so I've got it in my bedroom nice frogs yeah, yeah it's good dudes yeah good frogs yeah we, we like good frogs yeah um, mm. oh yeah speaking of speaking of which I mean you're touring yeah you, you've just been to China you're yeah. going to Russia you you've you've toured extensively for the yeah we're touring New Zealand too so yeah <laughs> yeah no but you tour a lot as in you 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 you've been touring yeah for the past maybe maybe not ten ten or twelve years but mm. I mean you know yeah we've, I've been yeah I've been playing consecutive shows over the last twelve years so yeah. yes um, is it so is it a way of living overseas without living overseas? Living <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> it is a good a good excuse to uh, see the world, definitely. I mean, and like I said, like I think because of the early history of Die to Die, like our first, um, you know, seven eight years of being constantly on the road, it has kind of exaggerated um, how many shows we do now. Like, mm. It is kind. Of, I mean, you know, mm. we've only played. Oh, but then actually, we have played quite a few shows this year. We did. We've done a New Zealand tour. And we've done a Chinese tour. Yeah, but I mean the first years, um, if I remember correctly, um, yeah, Michael was, was saying I mean this was basically six months or yeah. eight months somewhere. Oh, constantly touring. Yeah. Constantly touring 
from one country to, to mm. the other, you know, good on you. Yeah, but it was, yeah, it took, definitely took its toll at yeah. times. I mean, it's quite funny too, because a lot of people kind of do it for a couple of years, and then they kind of, oh sorry, and then they like kind of grow out of it or move on with their lives, which is totally cool, but I guess we kind of, you know, kind of go for it. Got OCD, we kind of just oh, oh, keep doing things over. Yeah, because <laughs> so REM does it. Yeah. I mean, they, they used to because yeah. they, they, you know, they split yeah. up very amicably, yeah. but I mean, they did. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you two massive yeah. bands do that. Yeah, they, totally. They used to tour for two or three years without you know, stop. Like yeah, exactly. I mean, I think that, like, um, in some ways, it's kind of set you in good stead, like, you know, like for our European tour, the fact we are doing 20. Shows in the same amount of days. I mean, I don't think you'd, we could do that if we hadn't kind of had the, the practice of doing it in the past and kind of going, well, you know, we've done this before, we're going to get through it again, you know. There's always that sort of idea of beating yourself as well, so you can't be like, oh, you'd, you'd be kind of going soft on, you know, to your old self, you mm, know. No, no. Yeah. But yeah, but then. <laughs> Have you got an old? You can't do it anymore, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm much older yeah. than you are. No, um, but it means that you've built up some networks um, yeah. all over the world now. Yeah, because um, in certain cities, you just go back to certain cities all the time. Hmm. I mean, yeah. And then we always try and. I mean, even it was funny too. Like on this Chinese tour, like I was talking to the guy in Nevin from Maybe Mars who helped book it, and he kind of he has the same philosophy as we do, which I I really appreciate. And the way I do look at touring is like making sure that you are going to the same places, but then you are adding like new exciting places to go on every single tour. Mm -hmm. And also, it's kind of mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'm trying to put it in New Zealand context without sounding like a total prick and insulting a town. But let's just hypothetically say I hate Dunedin. But like, you know, it's like I would like to do an entire tour and then, you know, maybe not play Dunedin in the sake of playing Barrytown or something like that. You know, so. Funny you should mention Dunedin. Yeah. Um, I don't dislike Dunedin. <laughs> no, no, but you yeah. left Dunedin a long time ago. I did, yeah. Yes, you left. Uh, yeah, a very, very long time ago. Yeah, a very long time ago. And, um, however, yeah. how much of the city, um, how much of, of, I suppose, the vibe of Dunedin is in your music or not? Oh, I don't really think. I think that, like, I mean, a lot of our. Uh, whole aesthetic when we started was kind of trying to be a bit anti mm. like the, I mean not an, not anti the sound the sound of stuff because obviously it's our biggest some of our biggest influences are Dunedin bands but it was like trying to do something which was quite unique to us and not like mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. sounding like The mm -hmm. Clean for example yeah, yeah. or you know so I think that that was a real um, like I remember when we first started we did a cover of The Clean because we realised how it would sound absolutely nothing like The Clean we recorded it, but then it sounded like a really bad Green Day or something. It was atrocious. Um, but Bob Scott was actually in the studio when we recorded that, and he said he liked it, but I think Bob was just being nice. So we never released it or anything like that. But I think that that, that yeah, so I mean, I think the, the culture in this, this uh, definitely had a big effect on us, but I do think it, um, yeah, I don't know if that made any sense. No, I'm, I'm completely with you on that, in the yeah. sense that the so-called Dunedin, I mean, Dunedin sound. Mm. It's just like anything. It's it's a construct. Yeah. And and that uh, I don't think anybody. Well, I hope n uh, nobody starts a band thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to sound like a band from Dunedin because that would be contrived and yeah. silly. It's just a way of classifying things and totally. making people's lives slightly easier. Yeah. Um, there is an, an undeniable kinship and thread. Yeah. Um, between between bands from there or, or you know bands from the same place, mm. but um, this is why I'm asking this because um, you know even going and uh, going against yeah uh, the sound of your childhood or your youth or something yeah. this can be an interesting take on things but there's it, it catches up with you yeah too. I mean I think that like this the it does catch up I mean definitely like we used to start like you know being like there's no guitar pedals and da 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 we're going to have no guitar pedals mm. and now we play with lots of guitar mm. pedals you know so you know you definitely evolve when you change your uh, you know aesthetic and it, it, it matures and it or, you know and it, you know you realize some things suck and you make mistakes and mm. it's all just you know it's part of life isn't it mm. yeah. Yeah. yeah but uh, yes it's 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 interesting to see how uh, we all have to define 
mm. what we do or what we don't do. Totally. Um, you know, according yeah. to where we're from. Well, speaking of which, please take me through the song Mirror because there, there's... Oh, on yeah, Swim? on Swim. Oh, shit. Someone um, who isn't me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, God. Well, actually, I don't like that version on that album. I think the Rory, who's our bass player now, he recorded a much better version of that song. Um, but I really like that song. Mm. Yeah, it's a good song. Um, I actually can't remember. Yeah, the lyrics of that one. That's, yeah, that's a long Where, time about it here. Something think, like, something in the region of when <laughs> we were young, Yeah. it was any excuse to get away from where we're from. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, that's that's those those are yep. I'm now I'm blushing. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. I can't blush, so I, I can do that yeah. all the time because I can't uh, blush. Well, I think that that was more like a context in the in the sense of like not actually uh, Dunedin as such, but more just like a, a bad um, sort of a lot of like self-imposed um, like a bad habits and bad lifestyle choices and you know. Just things which we kind of thought were great at the time, but kind of not really, you know. But it's a moving song, and I think you're being a bit harsh on it. Ah, oh, thanks. But no, no, it's, it's, it is a moving song. It's 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 lovely. It's a beautiful song, but it's it's moving because um, it it talks about um, again. I mean, this you know, you have to get away from somewhere, and at the same time, uh, you don't really know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, you end up just having a long to get back to. Yes, well. there's this longing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, no, for sure. Um, and uh, no, because this is my please take me through yeah. moment. Um, white horses. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Wow. Um, well, I think that that like uh, I think I'd kind of gone through my like first uh, big breakup when I was like a young, you know, young man. And um, I think it was kind of like a, you know, you kind of think something's gonna last forever when you're when you're you know young. And, um, it's, you know, you just kind of realise you're a bit of a dick. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's sort of <laughs> make his love hurts. Yeah, yeah well, I just I don't know. I can't, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, but I mean, it's a really cool song. So I mean, yeah. you know, you can break up any time. Exactly. Totally. And I then mean, also. Um, you know, we were like living overseas at the time, and so it was kind of like we felt like we were like this, you know, gypsy, well not gypsies, but you know, like these dudes just traveling around, you know, and you know, it was just like the no, no ideal situation to be in really, so it was pretty, pretty fucked up. Yeah. Quite temporary. Yeah, temporary, exactly, yes. yeah, yeah. Transient. Transient. Which is nice for a while. Yeah, 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 but totally. Yes. Yeah. And then at the same time too, because you make you make all these excuses that that's the only uh, that's the only, only life for me, man. You know, but <laughs> but actually, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> that's me off my motorbike. You know, <laughs> <Go on. laughs> you know, no, I've never ridden a motorbike in my life. Yeah, but there you go. So no, yeah, because actually you need an anchor. Yeah, exactly, totally. And I think that like a lot of things, um, you kind of realise. Uh, I'm just kind of contradicting my entire last 10 years of my life. Um, yeah, I mean, you just, you, you kind of realise what's good, what's good for you and what's not good for you and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. The first song I, um, I, I heard... Growing up in public's really fun. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, the first song um, I heard um, by Die, Die, Die was Twitching Sunshine. Oh yeah, yeah. Bring it on, and uh, with its amazing video. Yeah. Served by an amazing video, and that was um, that. Oh, it's difficult. I don't love it so much. No, the thing is, the beauty of it, I think. Yeah. Is how how incredibly personal the lyrics mm. are. And at the same time, there's this very political video, and mm. I'm not saying this because I'm half black. Yeah. Uh, but. Um, it's just, just you know, when the personal and the political collide. Yeah. And yes, please take me through this. <laughs> well, the the video is kind of like a. We don't really have, I've, you know, I won't claim anything to do with that. I mean, we wanted to work with the, the video maker and, as such, and um, 
I mean, I actually talked because of the recent videos which we've done. It's kind of like, I don't want to tell a video maker what to do with their videos mm. because it'd be like them coming and telling me how to play guitar. Yeah, wise man. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that that's kind of been a, a common thing with our videos and sometimes it's worked very, very well and sometimes it's worked atrociously. Yeah. And sometimes I've tried to be involved and it's worked terribly as well, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's quite funny too because those, like, those are like my favourite favorite songs that you're mentioning too, but they're not really the songs which most people kind of talk to me about. They kind of talk to me about, you know, the, the other, you know, the other songs. Does that make sense? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's a, that, I mean, Twitchy Songs Lines off, off Harmony, and I think that that's, yes, yeah, I think it's a good song too. I like it. Yes, and, and again, I mean, so of course there's, there was no, you know, you were not thinking about the video when you wrote the song because no, it was no. in a posterior, so there was, there's no particular connection, mm. but it's funny in a sort of funny kind of way, mm. not musically speaking, but in a funny kind of way. It reminds me of Harrow Downhill by Tom, Tom York right. and, and how a very personal song, mm. I assume, a very personal song is connected to a very strong, quite political video, yeah. because that's the same. Yes, no, no, this... Yeah, I mean, I also think that, like, the, I mean, with the video, obviously, we, we, we wouldn't have released anything if we felt uncomfortable mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was something which we kind of, you know, cared about, like, putting out this sort of message, but we also kind of had to be quite, you know, you have to be quite careful how how far you go with these sort of things without looking like you're sort of tokenising the situation as well, and, you know, or... Um, you know, just 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 got to be respectful. I think. Do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Without coming across, yeah. Yeah, but then you don't want to put your foot around. Either. Exactly. Totally not. Exactly. So, so uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the seal of approval. Yeah. Yay. Um, yeah, no, yes, it's, 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 these are really cool songs, and, and again, about harmony, and mm. about the actual song harmony, mm. there's something very harmonious, harmonious about the song, and, and some sort of, I, well, I thought, some sort of feeling, I mean, feeling, in, if it means anything, but, you know, um, yeah, reconciliation, mm. there's, there's, this album is, is a really, um, it's quite intriguing, well, that was a really, I mean, the Harmony was such a weird album to make because, um, like, the band had broken up, like I was talking to Silka before, um, and then that was the time where I kind of had the choice, like, I'd come back to New Zealand, Lachlan had come left the band, um, and Mikey and I weren't really talking, you know, we'd been best friends since we were, like, 13, um, and so I kind of had to um, go away and squirrel away with, like, Shane Carter and his, like, and he was living in a, I don't know if, I, if you'd appreciate me saying this, but it was, you know, like a little one bedroom man shack at the back of someone's, someone's house. And it was just kind of, a, it was just a little bit, and you know, we'd have to like do the vocals with him on his wee laptop with his headphones on. And it was quite, you know, he probably didn't really want to be doing that because it was also looking like da 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 wasn't really going to be happening. So it kind of could have been taken anyway. So I'm actually pretty proud of the fact that we did finish the album. And, um, so the song Harmony, I think that, that was like a bit of a, a changing, um, you know, it was a bit of an eye-opening experience because you go, you do go for a point where you're like, I'm hurting, why? It's somebody else's fault, you know, but then you kind of realise, oh no, you know, I've got to take responsibility for my own shit, really. You know, it's not, you can't blame everybody else for your own shit sometimes, you know. Everything. Yeah, only takes you that far. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, what do you look forward to? As a musician, <laughs> um, I look forward to um, being able to see the world, um, and being and at least having that like thread of like that creative energy in my life. I think you know, like it's you realize that you're quite privileged to be a musician and to have these sort of opportunities and to to have be able to play music with your friends and travel and, you know, it's a, it's a pretty ridiculous situation if you think about it, you know. It is, it's insane, it's absolutely mental. Like, I, you know, I realised this just the other day, catching the train to, back to Beijing, I was going like, this is just, this is so, I'm so lucky, and, you know, to be able to see the world and, you know, but then, so it's those sort of moments where I'm quite, I'm very, very honoured to be able to do it, I'm not going to, you know. So a lot of other time, we just totally took it for granted. 
but then I, I look forward to just being able to still create music, I think. And I mean, I won't be upset if I don't ever travel again either, but it's just, I think it's just about that connection with people as well, with other people, like, you know? Mm. That's what I look forward to doing, yeah. Gratitude. <coughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> kaki to everybody. Adios. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all right. I, I hope that that is. I hope that that's in the in the in the video. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. You need to keep it. Are you alright? You want me to keep yeah, some more time? No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I'm, I just had to cough and I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you weren't holding it in for like ages. I was holding it in for yeah. ages.